November 6th of the year 2010, the seventh day of the week, the day of the Lord's Sabbath. Well, brethren, I hope you're all using it that way as the, door, the Lord commands those who follow him to use this day as his rest, as his Sabbath. Well, brethren, with that, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry, our daily walk with Jesus, day 310 of the year 2010. And Jesus washes the disciples' feet. Brethren, again, I suggest you write down the chapter and verse as we go along so you can go back and study the whole thing in your own time setting you'll be able to get much more out of it than we can give you here in this little study. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into Jesus washes the disciples' feet. To do that, we'll go to John chapter 13, verses 12 through 20. After washing their feet, that is, after Jesus is washing their feet, he put on his robe again and sat down and asked, Do you understand what I was doing? You call me Master and Lord, and you do well to say it, for it is true. And since I, the Lord and Teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash each other's feet. I have given you an example to follow. Do as I have done for you. How true it is that a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger more important than the one who sends him. You know these things. Now do them. That is the path of blessing. I am not saying these things to all of you. I know so well each one of you I chose. The scripture declares, One who eats supper with me will betray me, and this will soon come true. I tell you this now, so that when it happens, you will believe me. Truly, anyone welcoming my messenger is welcoming me. And to welcome me is to welcome the Father who sent me. Jesus did not wash his disciples' feet just to get them to be nice to each other. His far greater goal for them was to extend his mission on earth after he had left them. These, when were, these men were to move into the world, serving God, each other, and all people to whom they took their message of salvation. Follow through. Jesus was a model servant. He showed his servant's attitude to his disciples. Washing guest feet was a job for a household servant to carry out when guests would arrive. But Jesus wrapped a towel around his waist, as the lowliest slave would do, and washed and dried his disciples' feet. If even he, God in the flesh, is willing to serve, his followers also must be servants, willing to serve in a way that glorifies God. Are you willing to follow Christ's example of serving? Whom can you serve today? There is a special blessing for those who not only agree that the humble servant is Christ's way, but who also follow through and do it. John chapter 13 verse 17 Our need for daily prayer. There are so many mysteries in the world and in life, O oh Lord. My eyes, eyes are tired of straining in the dark. I can only follow on to know you. But I believe that your going forth is as sure as the morning. In the meanwhile, refresh my heart as the rain. Faith is a gift that grows as we use it. And you hold fast to my name. I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dwelt bountifully with me. 
Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and His Son. What would Jesus, Jesus do? John chapter 13 verse 15 reads, I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. For all of you, beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. You sit there listening to me. But do you pay attention to the Lord? Don't do as I say. Do as the Lord says. He said today is the Sabbath. Believe him. And he will love you. For he says, if you love me, keep my commandments, each and every one of you. Brethren, if you want to get to the kingdom and the salvation eternally with the Lord, get down on your knees and repent for following the tradition of men and rejecting the Lord's way. And while you're on your knees, ask the Lord for the wisdom, the understanding, and the knowledge that he has given you that is found in the letter that he sent to you, and that is in your own Bible. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.